When I went down to Baltimore on Tuesday, it seemed like the place was in a process of tearing itself apart. Riots started at the corner of Pennsylvania and North Avenue and a CVS got burned down. So when I was there, I didn't know what to expect. There were some brief clashes on Tuesday night, but things quieted down fairly quickly and it seemed like order was restored on the streets. So I went to the New Jersey State Police's base camp in the shadow of M&T Bank Stadium where the Ravens play, where 150 New Jersey State Troopers are staying to help restore order in Baltimore and quell the chaos. I got shown around by Captain T.J. Collins. So when I try to plan and prepare, you know, for example, like uh, the box truck and what we pack it with, you try to predict what you're going to be needing or using the most. One of the assets that the New Jersey State Police brought down with them was a mobile command post where they can talk to each other and uh, connect their radio traffic with the Baltimore City dispatchers and the Maryland State Police. That's got to be really important in a situation like this. Yeah, it's actually, it's actually really, really important. So while I waited for them to take the streets, I went back to Pennsylvania and North in the middle of the afternoon in what I can only tell you was a carnival-like atmosphere. Bill, I, I should have picked you up a Black Lives Matter t-shirt that people were selling there, but I didn't think of you at the time. Fair enough. There were water hawkers. David Blaine was doing magic tricks for the Baltimore police. What? There were street preachers. Really? It was a, almost like a carnival atmosphere. Just a bunch of humanity hanging out together. Positive vibes for sure, but tension on the horizon because you knew that sun was just going down. I returned to the state police base camp and I waited to see where they would go. They got a mission briefing and right as curfew was starting at 10 o'clock, they headed out. The curfew will be enforced as per the guidance set forth by Baltimore City Police Department. And will they be in foot or, in, or on foot or in vehicles? They will be on foot. I followed them into the city, and where did they end up going? Right to the center of the action, Pennsylvania and North Avenue. The streets were deserted. No trains are running, there's a curfew. What's it gonna be like tomorrow? Who knows? Seems that the curfew in Baltimore last night worked. The state police and the Baltimore police reported no incidents. All the troopers made it back safe. And as far as we know, Baltimore was mostly quiet as this curfew remains in effect till the rest of the week. Uh, in New York City last night in Manhattan, I was on my way home from another chase, a long day, and I was actually right at the right moment when the protesters and demonstrators came directly at my car, in, right Where in the middle we? of the city by Madison Square Park on Broadway. Yep. And the cops were coming from one direction, um, and the protesters were coming from another, and my car could not move. There were ambulances in front of me that weren't moving. It's very dangerous in yeah. any city, but especially a city like New York City, where you can't get through. I can't move my car. The, the protest is approaching me right now. I mean, there somebody walked by the car, and actually you might hear it on the tape, I screamed an expletive. Oh, oh, oh. No, f*** you guys, go home. He said yeah. something to me like, Do you, if you care about life, beep your horn. No one's gonna honk their horns, guys. So, you know, get out of my way. So I caught it on tape, and uh, it's pretty well, crazy. And so much of it is out of context. And I think the message this morning was, at least, and as it carries through the day, uh, you know, wait till all the facts are out before you get all riled up and upset. And you certainly can't have a conversation about the line between brutality and aggressive policing uh, when you're burning down your neighborhood. That's dear, yes. <laughs> pretty weak, if you ask me.